let's get started trying to use Nana. Step one, let's go to the GitHub repo. We're going to hit code and then download the zip file. We're going to save that to our working directory. Now we're going to extract it. And inside there, in the build folder, we're going to go to the Visual Studio solution. We're going to open that. And then that opened a dialog here, prompting us to upgrade. So I'm just going to say no upgrade. And then that has opened Visual Studio, and we're going to build the project. So once that's done, build succeeded, we should have outputs that we are going to use. So inside the Nana master in the include folder, Nana, or sorry, not in there, in build bin, we will have our uh, PDB and lib and IDB files. Then the next step is we're going to create a new CMake project. So let's launch another Visual Studio. And we're going to create a new project. Let's pick CMake. We're going to make sure place solution and project in the same directory is checked. And that will open another Visual Studio window. So in the Solution Explorer, we should have an empty project with a simple echo hello. Jeepers. So let's run this, just make sure that this works, because if this doesn't work, then something's seriously messed up. Hello, so that works. Then the next step is we're going to add Nana to the project. So we're going to open CMake lists. We're going to make some changes. Let's get rid of that. So adding these lines, we're going to add the executable, which we've already done at the top there. Um, we're adding the include folder and the build slash bin folder and then telling it to look for that debug file here inside build bin. And then in the C++ file, we're going to go to the Wayback Machine because nana.org, nanapro.org is down. Uh, but at this URL, we get the demo for nana. So we will overwrite, making sure not to get rid of the header file. And then saving this, we should be able to run the project. So we've gotten some errors. Oh, uh, I copy and pasted a thing poorly. So let's try. That. Build failed. So here we're seeing a mismatch detected for runtime library MTD uh, mismatch MDD. So if we go back to the Nana project, then uh, we're going to go properties. And in here, was it output files? Here we go. C++ code generation. This says MTD, we're going to pick uh, MDD and hit OK. And then we're going to build. So with that, 
if we go to properties, sometimes this switches back to MTD, so double check that. But we should be able to now go back here and run this. And now we get the Nana Hello window. So that is how to get started with Nana.